Yo, what is up YouTube? It's Brio here back in the video and today, as you can tell by the title and thumbnail, I'm going to be talking about For Honor, giving my thoughts and my opinions on this game in 2020. And a lot of people, they haven't heard about this name in a while or haven't even heard about it at all. So I'm going to be briefly explaining what this game is and what it's about. And then I'm going to be talking about my opinions and thoughts on this game currently in 2020, three years after release, and if it is worth your time to go download or buy and give it a shot. But with that being said, make sure to subscribe, like the video, and turn on post notifications, and sit back, relax, and let's get started with the video. So For Honor is a game that I picked up back in 2017 when it first came out due to its unique fighting style. But slowly, due to matchmaking errors and characters being very unbalanced, I slowly stepped away from the game and moved on to other things that I enjoyed more. But recently, I have been looking for a game to download again that I haven't played in a while, and For Honor was one of those games that I haven't played in a while and wanted to give it a shot. So I downloaded it and I started playing it, and let me just tell you, I've been having a blast. Especially with friends, I think this game is really, really fun. There's more game modes, way more characters, and just more things to do in this game overall. The fighting got reworked, a lot of these characters that were unbalanced um, are balanced now. The only thing that's really annoying to deal with is one, a bunch of people that don't know how to play the game and just light spam the entire time, but that's not really a major issue, that's just with the people. And number two, which I think, it is, it's not really the game's fault, but at the same time it kind of is, it's just a low population. There's only two to three game modes that a lot of people play. Other game modes, you're going to be waiting for like up to five minutes just to get into a match, and that is kind of annoying. But at the same time, people are finally starting to come back to the game slowly and slowly, so hopefully this issue is fixed over the next coming months. And pretty much what this game is, for the people that don't know, it's a unique fighting game, but it's not one of those fighting games like Street Fighter, Injustice, or Mortal Kombat. It's a third-person 3D fighting game, and what makes it so unique is the parry or just the combat system of like the three ways. And what I mean by that is you can attack and block in three different ways, up, right, or left. And that allows for more realistic combat and also more strategic um, fighting so that it's really hard for you just to be light spamming. Now, there are characters that have very fast light spams and it is annoying, but at the same time, it provides more skill to the table with this way of combat. And I was having a blast with it from cool characters and cool attacks to amazing, cool looking executions and emotes. This game legit has it all. There's so many cool cosmetics and cool executions and cool characters that I really want to grind for. And that makes me want to keep playing this game and again the only thing that's really lacking is just the population of this game people are coming back to it but there's only like three game modes which are really dominion breach and maybe 2v2s or something which have a lot of people every other game mode doesn't have that many people it's low to medium activity which makes you sit in the waiting lobby a little bit for like three to five minutes but that's like the only downside i see right now and something i really like is that every character has their own unique look and fighting style you have the hard hitting tanks like shugoki which are big and they hit slow, but they have hard hitting attacks. And you also have smaller, lighter characters that attack very quickly, but do less damage like Shinobi. They're really hard to pin down. They're very quick, but they don't have that much health and their attacks don't do that much damage. Every character has their own in-depth fighting combos and moveset that you really need to learn and master. Um, that's why a lot of people main certain characters or just main, you know, a certain set of characters. Because if you're trying to learn all these characters at once, especially for a new player, it's going to be really hard. Because every character has a lot of different attacks that are only unique to that character character itself and you need to learn their movesets and combos if you want to see yourself succeed with that character. But it's not as simple as light and heavy attacks. There's also parrying, deflex, faking, and all that contributes to the fighting scene. A lot of people, all they know is about light attacks and heavy attacks and that's only going to get you so far until you need to learn these other things like deflecting, parrying attacks so you can open up and get a heavy, a heavy attack or light attack yourself in opening their guard, dodging, all these things you need to learn at the higher ranks and just when you want to go against better players because if not, you're just going to fall down and lose very, very quickly. But there's another aspect of this game which a lot of people overlook and that's the gear system. 
every character has their own gear for their chest, for their headpiece, um, you know, for their sword or weapon. Every character has gear, and you can obtain gear by playing games, and you can use the silver you get from playing games to get gear boxes and those gear boxes you can use to get high gear there's common gear there's rare there's epic there's legendary there's heroic there's so many different ranks for gear and the higher level your character is the better gear you can get same thing goes with cosmetics now silver is the in-game currency in this game which you can just obtain just by playing matches and silver is used for cosmetics executions perks gear and characters and among many other things. And silver is again really helpful because you can get all those things. Silver is kind of hard to obtain if you do not have challenges, but every day and every week you get a certain set of challenges that can get you 100, 200, even 500 uh, silver, and that can start to rack up very quickly. You need about 10,000 to 15,000 silver to unlock a character depending on the character they can be 10,000 or 15,000 silver and that can take you um, as little as one day if you play a lot or two three four even a week depending on how much you play and how many challenges you do there's also the faction system of the samurai the knights and the vikings and pretty much um every like every month or something or week you have events and pretty much the more games you win the more you're contributing to your faction and at the end of that timer which is like a couple days a couple weeks the faction that has the most points will get um pretty much rewards so i am in the samurai faction and pretty soon we're going to be winning because we are ahead of the vikings and the knights and in like about three days we will be getting three legendary chests and some silver so that's a pretty cool unique aspect to this game and the last thing to this game is also the story now there's a story mode in this game it hasn't been updated since the game fully came out but it pretty much just goes over a lot of the um, starter characters it goes over the three factions the samurai the knights and the viking it's a pretty good story overall and you get a lot of silver from it as well so if i were you if you have the time invest in the campaign so you can get that silver and you can learn the basics to this game but that's gonna be it for the video guys so if you guys enjoyed it make sure to smash that subscribe button like the video and turn on post notifications we're almost at 250 subscribers and we are on the road to 300 so let's see if we can hit that by the end of this year but have a great day wherever you guys are there is going to be a certain video coming out at the end of this week which i think is really really interesting for you guys so make sure you guys turn on post notifications to see that one but again enjoy the rest of your day it is veterans day after all in the united states and i will see you guys in the next one peace out